right, so in this question, we have a glass that's in a cylindrical shape and it has a lateral surface area of 90 pi square centimeters and a base area of 16 pi centimeters squared. Find the volume of the glass if pi equals 3.14. All right, so right away, let's see what we know. Um, we know we have a cylinder. Uh, we know this cylinder has a lateral surface area of 90 pi square centimeters and a base area of 16 centimeters squared. And they want to do what? They want us to find the volume. So, the volume of a cylinder, as we know from our previous videos, uh, volume is equal to pi times radius squared times height. So, what we know really doesn't help us with our uh, end result of our question at the moment. Um, nowhere in our question does it give us a radius, nowhere does it give us our height. But we know the lateral surface area, and we know the base area, and we know the formulas for both of those. So those can definitely, you know, help us find our radius and our height. So first, let's look at our lateral surface area. Uh, the formula for your lateral surface area of a cylinder is 2 times pi times radius times height. Uh, we know our lateral, sur lateral surface area is 90 pi, so we can set that up 2 pi r h. And let's go ahead and just solve for h so we can put in here. So we can divide both sides by 2 pi r, 2 pi r, um, these are going to cancel, and we're left with h equals 90 over 2 is 45, pi cancels, r. Sorry, it's over r. So. Let's um, rewrite this over here by plugging in my h. So volume is equal to pi r squared times my height, which is 45 over r. Okay. Now right away we can see because we are multiplying by a fraction, um, this is going to end up being r squared over r. So actually, the squared and the R are going to cut. So we're only going to have one R on top. So let's rewrite one more time. Volume equals pi R times 45. So we still need to find our radius. So we can do that by looking at our base area of our cylinder. We know the area of a circle is equal to pi times radius squared and we know my area is 16 pi so let's take 16 pi equals pi times radius squared oh we can divide by my pies these are going to cut so we're left with r squared sorry r squared equals 16 uh, to find 16, or to find r, we're going to take the square root of both sides. So r is going to be plus or minus 4. Now because we're dealing with a measurement, we're not going to have the negative, so our radius is going to equal 4 centimeters. So we can take that and plug it back into our formula. So volume equals pi times my radius is... 4 times my height is what? 45. We know pi is 3.14, so let's go ahead and rewrite it again. 3.14, sorry, times 4, times 45. 
Uh, multiply all those together and we're going to get a rough as answer of about 565 cubic centimeters.